Hi, welcome to this tutorial on Expert Systems. If you're just joining us now, you may wish to go look at the previous tutorials and I'll put links in the comments below. But the aim of this tutorial today is to actually improve our Expert System where we click on a button and the next question will appear on the screen. So when we click on Begin, it actually comes up with a new question for us. So it goes, do you want a team from the East or the West? And then you can actually select East or West, which can then take you on to other questions for your expert system. So let's get underway and improve our coding. Now from our previous tutorial, you'll notice that we've actually set up containers for our questions, and we've got a question area, and we've also got a button area. We've also created a link to our JavaScript. We haven't done any stylizing at the moment with an external CS. In our JavaScript file, we tested our function by actually having a document.style to change the background color to light blue, so we knew this function was being called. So what we want to do now is if they click on the start button, we actually want to give the user a question. So what we're going to use is a command called document, get element by ID. Make sure when you type out get element by make sure when you type out get element by ID that you have a lowercase g for get, capital E for element, capital B for by, and a capital I for ID. And then we need to specify the area which we want to get the element from. So in this case here, we're going to go to question to ask. Now the question to ask is this area right here, the H2, which has an ID. So we're looking for this ID. So this is what we're trying to get by ID here. At the moment, there is no text between here. So this is the open tag, close, and then the close H2, and then a break. There's no text in here like question, etc. So what we want to do is actually put some text in there, but we want to do that from the JavaScript. So every time we want to change a question, we just change the text in the ID. So we go document.getElementById, question to ask, and then we can actually get the what's called the inner HTML. So we want the text area between those tags. And we can actually then put in a question. Do you want a team from the east or the west? So whatever your first question is going to be, that can be in here. And I'm just going to put a semicolon at the end of this for the end of line statement. So it's a fairly long line, but I'm just going to save that now. I'm going to go back to my browser. I'm just going to refresh this so it brings up the start again, and I'm going to click on begin. You notice now the screen changes blue because the line of code is still there. And do you want a team from the east or the west? And we still got the begin button. So what we want to be able to do now is once we go begin, we want to be able to change the options that the user has here. So this uses another area we've established before. If we go back to our code, I'm using Adam to do my coding in. You'll notice, I'll just get rid of the B here, title. You'll notice that we've got a button area down here. So we want to do the same sort of process as we did to change the question, but this time we want to change the button in the button area. So where this open and where this closes. So we want to change this button. So let's go script that. So we're coming back into here. And once again, at the end of this line, I'm going to press enter. And this time we're going to get document. And once again, we're going to get get element by ID. And this time we're looking for the button area. So we want this area. We also want to get the inner HTML. So once again, between the div tags or the text area, at the moment there's a button tag in there, but we want to change the button tag. Now to change the button tag, we're actually going to put a new tag in there. So we're going to open up a brace, but before we do that, we need to do this in quotes. So the text is actually a new HTML tag for the interpreter to interpret. So we want to do a button, and then we want to have an on-click, and then we want to call a function. So in this case here, my next function is going to be f question one bracket bracket, and place that in single quotes. 
So when they click on the button, the on click will call F question one, and that button's gonna be have text of east, and then I wanna close the button. Just make sure you don't have extra quotes in there, so I just wanna make sure the single quote's gone. So it should read double quotes, open brace, button, on click equals, single quote, function question one, bracket, bracket, single quote, then close the tag off. Then we have the text, which is east, and then we close the button tag. So we've just saved that, and we're gonna head back and now run our HTML again. So I'm just gonna refresh this, click on begin, and now we've actually got a button that appears that is east. Now the question goes, do you want a team from the east or the west? So I need another button on the stage. So let's go back and add another button. So before I finish closing the quotes off here, I can actually put another button in. And it follows the same process. I open up a tag, it's gonna be a button. It's gonna have an on click. That's gonna be equal to, and then I can put the function name in here. So it's gonna be F question two. Then close the brackets. Then I'm gonna close the tag. And then I'm gonna add the text, which is west. And then I'm gonna close the button tag by going close button and close that tag. Now at the end, you need to place a semicolon right on the end of the line. So this way you have a full line of code now that says document.getElementById, we want the button area. We want the inner part of that, the HTML. And the HTML we're gonna give them is actually the buttons. So there's one button here starting at this open button click and the close button click. You see that the on click will call a function question one and the text on the button will be east and then that button closes, then we start a new button with a button on click. That's gonna go through to F question two with the text west on it, and then that button closes as well. So I'm just gonna save this now and refresh my website back to the start. So this time when I click begin, the screen goes blue, it gives us the question, and then gives us an east and a west. Now just to write those functions quickly, I'm just gonna head back in I'm gonna use the same code as before. I'm gonna copy this whole function down and paste it underneath. Now, the first button calls F question one. So at the moment, this is F question zero, which is the same, which will cause you an error. So I'll just change this to one. We could actually then change the question in here. We could then change what's on the button here. So we change the question here. So if they select the first button, change the question, change where it's gonna to go to and also change what's on the button and change what's on the other alternate button. If I need three buttons, obviously inside this double quotes, I'll then add create a new button by using this line part of the line of code here, paste it and change the appropriate stuff. So if we do click the button one, I'm just gonna delete these other lines of code at the moment. Rather than being light blue, let's go blue. Now, if they click the second button, it's meant to call question number two. So I'm just gonna paste this again. And rather than indenting it, I'm just gonna come up here and change two, and let's change it to yellow. And just save that. So now when I run my program, refresh. If I go begin, light blue. If I click east, it should be dark blue. If I click west, it goes to yellow. So this will give you the opportunity now to create your expert system, and then all we need to do is apply some styles to make it look more presentable. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, also have a look at other tutorials in this series, and have a look around my YouTube channel for other useful website programming tutorials.